Yes, everyone, how's it going? My name is Jermaine Grant. Today, I'm going to show you the power of pancake timeline editing. Now, there's other tutorials on this, but they seem to be missing one crucial feature. And I'm going to talk about that today. So as you can see, I've got my workspace set up here. I've got my main timeline and I've got my selects timeline stacked on top of each other. Now, what's good about this is that my selects timeline is shown in the source monitor to the left. And my main timeline is shown in the program monitor, obviously to the right. Now I can click and drag clips into my main timeline from my select timeline, or I can perform, let me just get rid of this, clear in and out, or I can perform insert and override edits directly into my main timeline. So all we have to do is I will go here, O, perform insert and overwrite edits as many as you want into my main timeline. So that's the power of this setup right here. And you can differentiate both of them, obviously by seeing that my select time is my source monitor, but also you can see that the timeline cursor is red and the timeline cursor in my main timeline is blue. Also as well, when you first do this, you might see this button here on the left. If that's selected, what happens is when you perform insert and overwrite edits, it inserts nested clips into your main timeline. I don't suggest doing this, but you can do it if you want. I would just prefer the actual um, source clips to be inserted into the main timeline. You can have as many stack timelines as you want shown in the source monitor. I'm gonna show you very quickly how to get this set up. So I'm gonna delete, delete that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a new sequence, new item, new sequence, 1080p sequence. I'm gonna call this selects trial 01, double click that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag some clips into this selects timeline. Okay, so I can do two things. I can either click and drag my select sequence into the source monitor, or I can just right click and select open in source monitor. Once I've done that, scroll up here to this wrench icon over here, click the wrench icon and select open sequence in timeline. Once you've done that, you can see that the source monitor, sorry, you can see that the select timeline that I've selected is shown in the source monitor. Now, if you wanna stack them both, just select and drag the your timeline below or above your main timeline and now you have the timeline stacked above each other you can form insert and override edits or you can drag and drop and again you can stack as many of them as you want hope this helped my name is Jermaine Grant don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you again in a couple of days of another tutorial or film making video take care guys see you later goodbye if I take it down would you really hold me down and be your best friend she just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. Where you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man.